I, Aku, the shape-shifting master of darkness, unleashed an unspeakable evil. But a foolish samurai warrior wielding a magic sword stepped forth to oppose me. Before the final blow was struck, I loaded my save file and selected the next mission. Thus undoing the future that is Aku. Alright. I don't remember how to play this. So hopefully... Hopefully it comes back to me. Yeah, we're in the cemetery. There, I mean, there is some good art direction in this game, for sure. Things are gonna change, I can feel it. It's so weird seeing Aku just popping up in front of us so much in this game. Because in season 5 of the series, you know, Jack needs to find Aku. He is. Like usual, he is, uh. M.I.A. The graphics really are a huge improvement from the GameCube game. I can remember how to do all this stuff. I do like that there's like these little 2D parts. It last very long. I've been playing as a ninja for the past few streams, so now we gotta get back to samurai mode. Zombies! Oh! What the heck? How does Jack know what a zombie is? I guess. I guess Jack's been everywhere. And the, the original concept of a zombie came from somewhere in Africa, right? It was like this kind of... Like this ritual of like dying and coming back to life, something like that. I think that's kind of where the concept comes from. It's just funny hearing him say that. <laughs> Zombies! Secret formula. I don't remember how to do like any of the different moves though, is the only problem. Another, a more secret. I did like some kind of tackle right there. Yeah. 
Leaf Spring Bow. How they specify they used a vehicle suspension. I don't like any upgrade option. Increased health after dying. I really want to die though. Oh, returning to life. Oh. Why would we return to life though? Is that just, is that a weird wording and it's just saying you, you return back to life with some extra health? I'm gonna, I'm assuming that's what they mean. I mean, that seems good. Here, let's... Moderate increase of enemies dropping stuff. That's probably good. Actually, yeah, let's get that. Large increase. Good luck. Better luck. Best luck. There's a lot of things you could say about me. What's the one thing you can't say about me? Oh, but I don't know Jack. I mean, true, I do know Jack. And he's gotta get back. Although I do need to kind of relearn the game. Ow. Jesus, this one enemy is, like, destroying me. Holy crap. What happened? How do I block? Oh god, this isn't good. Do I have, like, a super or something? Nope, I don't think I have a super. We're in trouble. Oh no, you have, like, health items you could take. I'm gonna have to buy some more, but geez. How do I just... God, I played too much Tenchu and now I need to relearn how to play this. So that's like dodging. Oh, okay. It's L1 to block, which is also the dash. Reaper. I think that's a sickle. Maybe we should keep up the katana theme and just katana zero next month. Oh yeah, good. Or you could suggest suggest die katana. Isn't that a beloved classic? Whoops, I shouldn't have grabbed that health. Oh well. We'll be fine. I do wonder if, like, people into stuff like Devil May Cry might get more out of this game than I would. Could be I'm just horrible when it comes to those types of games. You know what would make this probably work for me better is if there was like a witch time style mechanic. Because that definitely helped with like Bayonetta.
Can I grab this guy? Might be too big. Ow. Oh, but the Scotsman's just back there watching me fight. It's not like him. Um, sickles are used for reaping, that's true. Seems to straddle the line between character action and beat him up. Not too in-depth. Yeah, it isn't too in-depth, although there are so many skills here, like, you do learn a lot of different moves, I think, by the end of it. Maybe not, I don't know. I read, by the way, if you collect all the corrupted commons, you get, like, the good ending, <laughs> and we definitely missed a couple. There's a few that you can miss, and then just, you can't go back and get them. It, it's that sort of thing, unfortunately. I mean, you could go select whatever mission you want at any point, but... It's still a little... Kind of annoying. This side area. Well, apparently, if you want to get the good ending, like, this is spliced into the final season, but it's like an alternate take on it. And I don't want to spoil how the show ends if no one's seen it, although it might get spoiled here anyways, so it might be kind of unavoidable. <clears throat> I don't really know. I just know that this is kind of an alternate take. I mean, at the same time... Jack is kind of a show where, for the most part, it really is something that you kind of just enjoy on an episode-by-episode -episode basis. It just so happens that the final season is, is one, like, big, like, cohesive... ...storyline to wrap up the show. And it might be... Like, especially for the people who watched Samurai Jack back in the day. And they were like, man, what's, like, what's, is it going to finish? Like, are they going to finish this? And then finally getting to see the ending, that was kind of a big deal. Be careful, old boy. I have a bad feeling about this. Here, have this ruby. long as you have enough rubies. Hello. I have a bad feeling about this. That's what everyone's saying right now. Aku's magic is bringing dead soldiers to life. I cannot let that happen. Jack, we've been fighting them. Yeah, the dialogue between just the random people out in the open is a little stilted for sure. Like, look at this, like, shot right here. Like, this is so nice. I think most of the... Most of, uh... The effort was definitely put into, like, the art direction. Which makes sense. I have a bad feeling about this. And probably some of the action scenes are just the action, like the cutscene action scenes, because, um... That's definitely Gendy's strong suit, is like... His storytelling is extremely, like, storyboard-focused. Like, his story is pretty much all told in the storyboard. <laughs> yeah, Jack has a bad feeling about this, too. So, um, yeah. Like, I, I saw this, this, uh, video of Gendy, like, explaining the opening scene to the fifth season. And he literally just does it. He sounds everything out, like, all the sound effects that are happening. He explains, like, all the little bits of action that are happening, like, beat by beat. It's like very clear, like the way he tells a story. Alright, we're going the right way. 
amigos. Enemies. There they are. Is he like calling his friends over? Did you see that guy? It's like a weird thing for a zombie to do, I feel like. Whoops. I'm gonna grab that health. Take a big kick. Oh look, it's another one of those things. I wonder if they tell you how many of those there are, actually, I'm curious. So we have six, but there's no, like, you would have to look up how many there are unless they tell you at the end. Samurai. Alright, we, we want health, really, is the main thing here, we've learned. Um, Gift of the Gods. His store music isn't playing, which apparently the store music is one of the things that, that triggers the copyright. <laughs> A replay mode that shows you if you got everything on a stage. Oh, sounds like a kind of thing that would be unlocked when you beat the game. Yeah. That would be good. I don't know if, if they do that or not. I just feel like I should save up for my sword. I just can't see myself using... Like, you have to repair weapons and stuff when... It... Your sword never has to be repaired. It's already, like, the strongest thing. I do, like, I, I think I said this last time, but I really feel like you shouldn't have had your sword through most of the game. That's probably something you should have found, like, towards the end. Because you would have had a lot more... I know it's weird, like, Jax should have his sword, but in Season 5, he's missing his sword almost the entire time. Not that it's literally the strongest, but, like, the stats are really good. Like, there's no reason not to always use it, as far as I can tell. I don't even see anything here with five attack. Um, yeah. I'm just gonna get all the health I can get. And uh, maybe a potion of power. And just one of these two. I think I found one of these. I don't think I can buy another one. Mm. Increase the amount of skill fire drop from defeated enemies. Oh, well, you can only wear one of these at a time, I wonder. They didn't really go into detail about that. Like, it doesn't say, like, I can wear... I have two wrists, right? So you would think I can wear a second one, but I have no idea. Check it, Jack. I guess I could check right now. So... Oh, did I just buy the power bracelet? No, it's sold out. So I must... That must be the one I'm wearing right now. Yeah, I'm wearing the power bracelet. Yo, so... Sensei! Let's get the... Guardian bracelet. And then see if we can wear both of them at the same time. No. You can only wear one at a time. See, I would have liked to know that. But there's like no indication. Maybe there's a skill you can get where you can wear more than one at a time. I don't know which one that, that would be in. I don't know.
Oh no. The switch chug. I feel like I'm doing more damage to them. Oh, it's because there's a large group. Whenever there's a large group of enemies, you can take them out a, a lot faster. As is faithful to the show. So I got a skill that supposedly, like, when I die, it resurrects me and I get a little bit of health back. How does that reset? I wonder if that's something where you need to, like, use your fire, like, you need to have your fire active. I don't think it specifies that. Let me look at that again. When was that in? Not this. I think the picture of the heart. So it's, it's a combat skill. Is it not? Wait, wait, wait. Physicals. Second wind, here we go. It has very strange wording. Increased health after dying and returning to life. Jack and samurai difficulty only. You reset it at a bonfire. I see. See, in the... In the example clip, it does there's no fire active. It just shows like instead of dying, you get a little bit of health back. But it has a weird wording, like increased health after dying and returning to life. As if you can already die and return to life, and you just what I bought is increased health. You know what I mean? It doesn't look like it's that much health either, so it's I don't know. There's definitely like a lot of small details missing that would help explain things a little better. He makes a weird noise when he double jumps. Arr! He's not doing it anymore. You could test it, I'm assuming you need the equivalent of a fairy and it'll give you more health when you come back to life. But the fairy in this game gives you full health already. And in the example video, it just shows you getting a little tiny bit of health. So right here, see, you barely get a tiny bit of health back. So I don't understand, like, I don't, I still, I don't get what they mean. I, I'm assuming it means you get to resurrect a little, like if you were to die, you come back with a little bit of health. But I just, it just, if that's what it is, they, they didn't word it very clearly. Because here, I could show you the item right here actually that resurrects you fully it's it's the gift of the gods uh it will restore full health from the brink of collapse so so fact you're saying it's one free extra life right so if i were to die then i don't i get a little bit of health back okay but when does it reset at the end of the whole the mission like is it just for each mission you get that one time like, they don't go into very much detail. Yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll find out eventually. I don't really have much money right now, though. I can't buy anything. What is this psycho music?
Oh my god, more enemies. I like how they, they have like the tired Jack lines under his eyes because Jack is very, very exhausted with his journey and just jaded at, at the point of the fifth season. By the way, the, um, the, 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 so the originally the series ran for four seasons and it was like about, I want to say 52 episodes, I think it was 13 episodes per season. Um, ow. You know what? Take this! Uh oh, they didn't die. <laughs> I need a health. I need the big health. There's health. Alright. Um. So, in every episode, it's like the end of the episode ends with like the episode number in Roman numerals. That's why I always remember that the Lava Monster episode was episode X, which is episode 10. Um. Interestingly. The final season, which is 10 episodes, starts with episode, um, I think like 90 or 90 something, like 91, 92, just inexplicably. And I guess you could say it's kind of showing you that there was, it's, it's to kind of emphasize that a lot of time has passed. Like there was, there were other stuff that went on between the last episode we saw and like the current one. But part of me wonders if they did that to leave it open, that like, hey, what if we did go back and do more like classic Samurai Jack episodes? Jesus. It's like, why not, right? Samurai Walter, yeah, I better heal. I can't trust that that thing's gonna do what it does because we're just guessing. trying to find a list of the skills for the game but there's nothing about them I don't know if many people played the game unfortunately I know Dragnix did like one stream on it when it first came out um. but yeah I don't know like it, I think it had decent reviews like people said yeah it's not bad it's a lot better than all the you know the ones that came before it like that that one i played for gamecube which was horrible <clears throat> but it's also not like there's not a whole lot special about the game either like unfortunate to say it would have been great if they like i don't know if like if they maybe had a higher budget or something Here we go, finish him off, Jack. Oh, almost. There we go. Jesus. I do like that when he takes damage, he gets more and more messed up. Like, his hair comes loose. Like, just like in the show. Like, when he gets in a really tough battle, that happens. He gets all torn up. I also like how long his hair actually is. You think he has short hair, but it's like tied up. And it doesn't always happen. That's an interesting thing. Whoops. I didn't mean to fall down here, but there's a secret. So I, I definitely did mean to. You get the battle armor skin? That's sick. 
Even though you think the Samurai Jack Wiki would have the skills listed under the game's page, I don't know, yeah. It just depends on how many people cared about the game, I guess. Um, one thing I, I like about Jack is that he is portrayed as like a really tough warrior. Like he's really, really strong. Um, but he's not op he's not overpowered. Like he can be beaten down, he can be defeated, but at the same time, he's so tough that like there's a good chance that he will overcome. And also, he's not just like super. Like he's good at so many things. You could say like, oh, it's kind of lazy. Like why is he good at so much? But like, they spend the whole premiere movie like explaining why he's so skilled in so many different things. Like he literally traveled the world. He was literally raised on different warriors and like kingdoms across the world and all these different forms of like battle and combat and um and and other like um sourcefulness skills too like oh like here's how you catch fish here's how you would start a fire here's how you would um like all kinds of different things. He knows how to read different languages, like all kinds of stuff. A very Batman-like figure, that's true. I guess Batman did have a similar uh, sort of training thing. Although Jack had a very specific goal, like he was supposed to be trained so that he could come back and free his, his people, his family. It, it really makes you want him to achieve his goal like he already had to spend like i don't know 30 years going around the world um and just while his family was being like tortured and like and aku's just evil was starting to spread and like he, he that's already a lot of time so when jack like gets to Aku and he technically beats him and then Aku just sends him to the future. Like that's messed up, man. Like all the stuff he was working for all that time just got thrown out the window. Like Aku won. Aku has had free reign to take over the earth for like a thousand years or whatever, how much time it passed. So like, in a way the premiere movie is a little slow but it does a great job setting up, like, his motivation. Like, he needs to find a way to get back to the path. He can't just stop Aku now. That's not good enough. He needs to go back and make sure he never, like, he's never able to do what he does. Okay, so this is a bonus area. I love that you can confirm that. That's one thing I have to say about this game that's a really good addition is like being able to see where the progression path is. Does he ever state if he plans on going back to before he got flung forward in time or shortly thereafter? I don't think he specified I think you always assume, oh, he's probably just trying to get right back to where he was when he got thrown back, or thrown forward, rather. Um, but it would be even better if he could go back to before, like, he had to even, like, like when he had to run away as a child. Although, I don't know if that would screw up the time timeline because then now there's a child jack going around training while adult jack stops aku so then i don't know how that would work exactly i guess future jack would vanish after he kills aku so like past jack would just show up to like do his job and then 
Well, no, because he would want to. He would want to stop Aku before Jack even has to go around the world. So yeah, I don't know. I assume it's just go back to where he got flung to the future in the first place. But I'm sure either, you know, he just wants to get back, in general. Like, he never got to save his family, which is like the most messed up part. Buy some more stuff when I get the chance. The show, also you can't, like, you can't kind of overanalyze how everything works in the show, because if you start doing that, it does kind of get... You'll probably find things that don't make sense. Um, you kind of just have to take it for what it is sometimes. Like, there's one episode, one of the later episodes of the original four seasons where Jack finds a time portal. It's not being guarded by Aku. Aku doesn't even know about it as far as we know. It should just be free to him to use. Now the only problem is there's a dude there guarding it called the, he's, I think he's just referred to as the portal guardian. He's just like this guy and he's like, oh man, I can't just let you come here and try to use this portal. I got you gotta prove yourself. And he's tough. And Jack at this point, I'm pretty sure, has basically overcome every odd, every obstacle. Um, kind of a spoiler alert, but Jack can't beat this guy. He tries and tries and he fails to beat this portal guardian. And Jack has to turn his back and leave. And the portal guardian, like, I don't think he says it to his face, but... He kind of looks into the portal and he says like, oh, I know you'll be back. And it shows like an older Jack who's like, looks way more war-torn and like, it, it, I feel like that's kind of been retconned. You could kind of argue that maybe Aku stopped that timeline from happening. We're ready. But yeah, I don't think Jack specified. He always just like, he wants to go he just got, he's got to get back to the the general past. Now, how would I get in there and get that? Maybe from the other side. Oh, yeah. Oh, never mind. That wasn't, I thought that was a, okay. I thought that gate was blocking something. Okay, actually, I don't know how to get in there. Oh well, we already missed some anyways, it's not like I'm gonna get... I'm, I'll, I'll just have to look up the good ending, probably. What do you want, Kevin? What do you want? You know you've been bad. You know you've been bad again. You know you don't get your cat treats until you're good. Why are you such a weird cat? Listen to this guy. He's such a little baby. Seven, if you're gonna act like that, you can't, you're not allowed to hunt rodents anymore. You're not allowed to hunt tiny creatures. That is not how... A hunter warrior axe, okay? I'm sorry. Damn it. Oh, that was pretty good. Heaven. You. You didn't want to come in here, did you? You wanted to go outside and someone let just let you in. Like they always do. Don't I know it. Alright, fine.
Portal. Oh yeah, sorry, I was muted that whole time. I muted myself to get up to take Kevin out. Dang it, I was just saying something important, but I can't remember what it was now, because I was muted. Um. Oh, I was praising the show for like... Hang on, let me get to what you were saying first. Um. Dang it. What happened was, so there's two ways to mute my mic. I can mute it on the mic itself manually with the button, or I can use a hotkey to mute myself in OBS. When I got up to let Kevin out, I muted myself in OBS, and then when I came back, I hit the button on the mic as if that would unmute me, but instead I was just double muted. Um, but I was, what I was saying was, um, I was asking if I'd been to Death Mountain and Breath of the Wild, but then I was like, I must have, because that's where the Gorons are, right? Wait, what? Wait, what? I just threw an arm in there. Okay, weird. I've never seen a portal act like that in a game. I guess if you don't jump in all the way, that you get bounced back. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I said it's interesting actually that, um, I, I, I said I wondered if they like utilize concept art from the different episodes to design the levels because the levels are all based on episodes so far. Um, I'm gonna leave that feeling there just in case. Unless the door shuts behind me. Um, and also I said it, it, it's it's actually the fact we're being like flung through time is funnily enough a, a nice change of pace. Because in the show that's not happening constantly with Jack. He only gets he only goes through time that one time, and the whole rest of it he's trying to get back. But um they managed to still keep all these different like themes and aesthetics and like genres because depending on where jack is in the world depending on like if it's like a really heavily ak aku um infested area then it's gonna be like dystopian future if it's like kind of a mixture of like aku like letting other aliens because that's another thing the world partly why the world is so crazy is because aku opened up the earth to a lot of other like uh like aliens from like different parts of the galaxy and so they they uh but they've been there for so long now they've like started their own cultures and stuff on earth it's it's very interesting So you get all these different genre mixes of genres. You get those places that Aku like hasn't quite like hasn't bothered with or hasn't really touched. So you get more like old Earth culture stuff. You get robots. 
You got Greek mythology, Norse mythology. What the heck? What is this? Oh, there was like a hand grabbing me, I guess, but it was not sticking out all the way. I thought I, got, I, thought I was glitched. Yeah, lots of, lots, like, you never know what you're going to get with an episode of Samurai Jack. There's a whole episode where it's literally Jack, like, helping the Spartans from 300 battle, like, I think, Aku's minions. And it has, like, a lot of really, like, epic wide shots. Right. No, that's what I mean. It's like, the show has a mixture of real things and, and like, fantasy sci-fi things in a really cool way. What the heck, Damongo? Get out of here. And then you have Damongo, who, who was he voiced by again? We figured that out last time, and then I forgot. It's it's a it's a voice actor who's known for his like deep voice, and then he comes and does Damongo, which is really great. Oh yeah, I mean. I, I couldn't remember the name. I couldn't remember the name of like that the actual battle and like the actual army, so I just called it 300. Is it Leonidas was the name of the the king that was was uh, leading them? It's not Hans Christian Andersen. It's someone else. Kevin Michael Richardson, that's who it is. Someone let Kevin in again and he wants out again because he doesn't actually want to be in here. Kevin, please, go lay down. I'm gonna have to let you outside, huh? They don't realize that letting you in here is clearly not the solution. He always runs away before you can finish him off. Oh, look at that, what a surprise. Kevin wants out again. Hang on. All right, it wasn't it wasn't that I didn't mute myself and unmute myself, right? It's that my foot hit the USB that the mic was plugged into. Cuz I just did it again when I came back and I was like, I did not mute my microphone manually. And I checked and it got unplugged. So that's what it was. I solved the mystery. I'm guessing that's the end of the... <laughs> so funny. Oh, we're gonna go to the actual boss, I'm guessing. That's how I'll remember the voice cool. actor's name. Kevin the Cat. Michael Reviews. And Richard, where can I apply that to? 
No. That's a very creepy creature. And I don't want my soul to be swallowed. I have so many arrows I haven't been using. My wood bow broke. They really had to make it one of those types of games, huh? There we go. You have to click in the stick to lock on. I was trying to remember. Now I can like... Whoops! I did not mean to dash into health. That's a waste. No, that's not... This is a unique creature. This is not from any episode that I can recall. Maybe it was from Season 5. It's been a while since I've seen it, but I don't remember this. Oh my god, I can't even get near it. Really? You know what? Screw it. Okay. Could have did a little more damage. I should have put on the power potion before I uh, did that super move, probably. Oh, I have machine gun bullets, but no machine gun, I see. Apparently this is from... Oops. Why did it deflate and fly away like a balloon? It was a Gmod character. I hate that you get punished for using items. That is, that's like freaking Bayonetta. You used items to live? You used items that, that you bought? Let's, you'll lose score for that, buddy. So what's everyone been playing lately, huh? Oh, we're actually in a uh, an Aku City level. That's cool. I 
I get like, oh, oh, these dudes. This was actually I cannot face them here. There are too many. Did you guys hear me talk about how I really like the way they portrayed Jack, like how like skilled he is, but he's like not overpowered. Like he's really, really tough, but he's like he doesn't always win. I can't remember if I was muted during that or not. You've been bullying bosses in Elden Ring? I mean, I get like, if you, uh... You get less points for like, taking more damage. I just don't like the using items punishing. Okay. Um, these dudes... Are one of the few... Uh... Adversaries who, who did get the best of Jack. Only in the sense that they, their whole thing is like capturing, like they like to hunt. And they, they saw Jack as like, Aku wanted them to catch Jack for, uh, for him. And they're like, okay, we'll, we'll do that. And <clears throat> at first they get Jack fairly easily because I think Jack like, I don't know, like, they just kind of catch him off guard, and they're like, wow, this this guy sucked, he was disappointing, he's not even that good. And so Jack gets, takes it personally, he, like, breaks out, and he, like, he gives them, like, the greatest hunt of their lives. Yeah, they, they hunt perfectly as a pack, yeah. And then at the end of it, they, they finally do catch Jack, like, he just can't outrun them all. Um, and, uh... Aku's like, yeah, you did it, hell yeah. And then they respect Jack so much because they never... They never encountered such a, uh... Just two, okay, two sets of shurikens, I guess. Um, they let him go. Because he's just, they respect his ability too much. So that is one of those times where Jack technically is defeated. Although, um, it does make you wonder, like, if they were, like, battling each other. Because I think, well, Jack obviously doesn't want to kill if he doesn't have to. And he knows that they weren't trying to, like, lethally do anything lethal to him. So it might have been different if it was, like, straight up combat. No, yeah, I figured that, that it did. It just kind of surprised me I had so many. Yeah, that, this, that's a, um, I forget the name of these guys. But, uh, they come from another planet that hasn't even like tried to colonize Earth like a lot of the other ones have. Aku just specifically brings them to Earth to catch Jack. Which is cool, because I feel like they don't explore like planets outside of Earth like at all really in the series. I mean there's so much stuff happening on Earth. It's not like they would have to, but it is cool that they they did that in that case. So go ahead and grab this. Help. Hot gators with clubs. That's my one weakness. It just makes me think of the episode where you meet the Scotsman for the first time. And they're being hunted down by like these like these like bayou patrol. Jack finds out Scotsman must be a good guy because Aku's also after him. The Imakandi, there you go. It's perfect timing. Samurai Jack. You a 
have been chosen as prey for our sacred hunt. A tradition that has lasted eons. I will not be your prey again. You have no choice. This is our way of life, for we are in a candy. It's really cool that it seems like every single voice actor from the show they were able to get back for the game so far. Um, obviously, they couldn't get Mako because, you know, Fortune he passed already, but, you know, Greg Baldwin, who was his replacement. Like, I'm pretty sure Jeff Bennett, I think, voices this Good dude. Job. Gold. I don't need that health. I'm gonna leave that there just in case. I think I don't need that health. How much health? Usually there's a button to make your... Ah, there we go. E pad did it. Oh. They make kind of relentless. Don't get caught. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Well, time to go back and use that health. The game should penalize you for opening chests as you are supposed to resist your greed. <laughs> yeah. They should penalize you for using items from chests that you find to... Oh wait, they probably would. Why is the music so like funky right now? We're just in a sewer. I knew it. There's a one of those corrupted things is up there. I don't think I could get it now. Try, but oh, I could jump good. How do I do that? There we go. But I can't go any higher from here, I don't think. Dang. Ah, oh, well. Did I just take a bunch of fall damage? What? I didn't know there was fall damage. Okay, there should not be fall damage in this game. He, he, Jack learned to not take fall damage. And jump good, that's like the whole point of the jump good. He learns about that. He learns how to... He can jump super high and not get hurt. If the game explained that, I forgot because in the show that shouldn't be a thing. He should be good. Unless he like falls, you know, if he did the jump himself, he should be fine. Wow. That sucks. Jesus, we better run into a... Uh... Ay! I haven't checked out my skills in a while. I'll probably do that. Best luck. Have them drop even more stuff. I probably should probably just get that, honestly. Increase the amount of key of fire dropped. Uh. See, I don't want a hammer combo or a spear combo or a fist combo. I want to. Th these should have all been separated. What if I like? I only want to focus on certain weapons, you know.
forget about that. Escape throw. When enemy attempts to grab you. I don't know that they grab me all that often. Increase aiming with the bow. Perfect dodge. Oh! All this stuff that you think would be like fair essentials and they're... Oh no, I don't have enough Bushido spirit points. Dang it. Okay, we need to get some more of those. Man, I don't know. I'll have to look into that. Yeah, I don't know if he has like a large... I mean, if I switch weapons, maybe. Let's see. Screw it. Uh, that seems like it's still... Uh... I don't... <laughs> I don't know if I can answer that question. Luffers. Bamboo staff is close to breaking. <laughs> That's why I just used the sword. I like how I started using that for the first time, like the whole stream, and like that's immediately what starts happening. I mean, I think there are certain enemies are weak against certain weapons. It's just none of them are not dying to the sword, so it just seems like why, uh. Oh, the Imakandi! Where'd you come from? Good thing he can't see me. I think he's having a problem. Um, I mean, I thought I thought Morning Stars could have really long handles. Let me see. What weapons do I have? I have a hammer. Why do those look like? That doesn't look like a hammer. That's a sickle or that's a scythe rather okay i'll try um try this oh there we go that might have like a more of a sweep oh you can't grab him Um, Jack sword cannot be used to harm an innocent being. That's true. That is true. I remember that. Because I believe Aku tries to use the sword against Jack at one point, and it doesn't work. I mean, the Amakandi is as honorable as they are. You could argue that they are still down to just hunt people. So they're maybe not exactly innocent. <laughs> Find a ladder. Oh, a spiked club. That's new. Shatters stone and breaks bone. So I can equip that as well, just in case. It looks like it's the same type of weapon. It's actually a little bit weaker than the Morning Star, so maybe let's not bother. It's a Monado. Um, what is a Monado? The sword leaves Jack for harming an asset with it. That is a uh, kind of what he believes, right? And uh, in season five, spoiler alert. When Jack loses his sword for a while. There he is. Collect some money first before I talk to you.
Alright, so health. Uh, yeah. Pretty much I'm just gonna buy all your health. I don't think I want to do anything else. Until I need 20,000 to train my sword. I mean, let's see. I don't even have enough money. I have for the club, but that's... I don't think I like the club. Oh, I already trained my this fist to uh, level 2. So... I think I'm just gonna save up for the sword to get to that to level 3, honestly. But I will, I, I do need some help though, so... He doesn't lose a sword, he trades it for beef jerky. Oh yeah, I forgot. Forgot that episode. Beef jerky! What's up, double O? the Imakandi. It's that dude from Dial M for Monkey. Did you know Samurai Jack is a show in Dexter's lab? Because Dexter is a fan. I think he has like a Samurai Jack action figure or something at one point. Mafia episode is your favorite? Which one? There's been a f there's been a few uh, Samurai Jack episodes that are very like Mafia style. I I'm assuming you mean like with the little mobster, like the little they like Jack starts working for them because they want to get close to Aku, so they have to. He helps them steal like the that jewel that controls like all the water. What am I doing? Okay. Sure, why not? Might as well get it. I assume it'll pay off. Wait, why can't I get it? Oh, I need three diamonds. And how many diamonds do I have? They're not gonna tell me, are they? I don't have any. Okay. <laughs> well Right, right. That season one episode. Yeah, we gotta do some more Samurai Jack watch party. I'm gonna do that soon, since I'm playing this right now. It just said crushes hordes of small enemies with ease, so I guess that's a good one. So... Oh, wait. Hmm. Oh, they all say that. Okay. I mean, all in that category. Yeah, we're gonna do that. We were just starting on season three. Oh my god, these guys... Dude. Chill. Holy crap. You'd be blocking too good for someone with a gun. And not a shield or a sword. 
Grab that health right there. I don't want to waste my uh, super move on these guys. But yeah, I agree. That's a good episode. I think that's the first time Jack finds Aku again uh, after being flung to the future and then unfortunately the, the little mobsters misunderstand the situation and they uh, they knock him out This, this whole episode is just us getting hunted, apparently. It's like that level in the Spider-Man game where you're just running away from the... all the helicopters and stuff. Oh, I think I saw the smack back. Which was, uh... Smackback was that epi that episode where Jack got like sent to a coliseum to like fight for his life. Jack versus the Smackback. What the heck? What's that doing down there? I guess you gotta hit it with your sword. How would I even get down there? What the heck? Huh. Oh well. From over here, maybe. Oh, I don't know. Oh well. Boss fight. Whoa, the ninja? No way. We haven't seen this episode yet in the server. Uh, that's cool. That's a really cool episode. It has some really cool visuals. Um. He, he, he can like blend into the shadows perfectly and uh, Jack's fighting him and they're like on fairly equal grounds because Jack decides okay if you're gonna blend into the shadows I'm gonna use the light and like Jack wraps himself like in all white and they're in fairly equal um, grounds but then it starts getting darker and all of Jack's like light starts going away so like there's more and more shadows encroaching on his area. Shadow meets light. And it's got some really cool visuals, like two-tone visuals with the, uh, the light and the dark. Health's kind of low. I need to. I think there was a heal up here. Yep, there it is. Can't reach. Oh, I could jump good. Ah, oh. jump better. There we go.
Uh. What? What the heck? That's cool. They did the original uh, Aku intro voice over that TV right there. That monitor. I like that. By using this, like they say, it's supposed to be good for this. It's really cool, like, that they kind of, you know, use Mako's original voice where they can. That's got to be a tough job too, like having to replace Mako's voice. It really is like unreplaceable, but you know, they did the best they could. It was the same thing for uh, his character in Avatar, right? Like they had to find a replacement for like the later episodes of that too. Ride, Uncle Ira. Was was that one more or less noticeable? I feel like Aku's is especially hard to to like imitate because he's doing a very like exaggerated like big voice. I know in Avatar he does like a more subtle But I'm sure that's also tricky in a different way. Alright, you're gonna get it, you... Bug. He leaves on the most heart-wrenching scene? Oh no. Got him! I'm gonna go there. Here. I knew it. No, there had to be something. Oh boy, Haggis. My favorite. Have they been over here? I won't tell you because somehow I still haven't watched. I, oh yeah, yeah. I know I should. I know it's it's supposed to be really good. Okay, so I think I'm supposed to go. This level hasn't been doing like the directing me thing. I think it's just broken on this level. Honestly, we've been okay without it, but. I have to kind of guess what the progression point is. Another thing down there, I don't know how I would get down there. Maybe this is the progression point? No? Nope, this is the secret area, okay. Cool. a nice little area it's like where nature is still able to grow despite this being a horrible dystopian city that's really nice even the music's different here 
That's what Samurai Jack's all about, baby. There's always hope. Alright, can I get that one skill I wanted to get now? Was it No, I need a thousand of the green, I think. Because I wanted to get perfect dodge. Yeah. So we still need quite a bit more of that. In fact, do I watch, do I start the animated series before or after the live action movie? Because I know they go together. But I can't remember which one goes first. Crystal of Agliostro. Alright. I put them on two screens at once. The move, But the movie will be over within like a couple hours and then the show. So at that point I could just turn the, the cartoon off. Like once the movie ends, I, that's the perfect time to just stop the show. What are you doing in here, guy? Yo, sensei! I'm gonna try my best to save up for the, uh, my sword level 3. You haven't- it's been kind of hard saving the money because I have to keep spending it on health. I'm gonna try- we're, we're good on health right now, actually. This level hasn't been too bad for us. So I'm gonna keep trying to save up. Can you sell stuff? Hang on. I don't know why I haven't sold anything yet. That would probably help, because I don't use any of these weapons. Yeah, I have one equipped, so I'll just get rid of... ...this. This is broken up anyways. I'll get rid of the weaker one. These aren't really worth that much money, though. Six per arrow, or what? Let me see. I'm gonna try this. Out. Oh boy. Oh, select quantity, I see. Um. I'm, so I'm not gonna end up getting enough for the. what I want, anyways, probably, but. I don't even have a machine gun, so I might as well sell these. Oh, I could sell diamonds. But we need these for specific upgrades, so I'm kind of worried about if I sold the wrong things. We'll just sell the magic sword, then we can afford to upgrade our sword training. Yeah, so it still wasn't nearly enough, but... They didn't get to make more movies that were supposed to pair like that? Oh, I see. It's just the big, you know, the big executives always ruining what fans want, you know? Not letting them get it. Haggis. Good. It's another Haggis I won't have to buy. Like I said, you could throw enemies and get their weapon, but I think you can't throw these specific enemies, so that's kind of a weird time to get that tip. Uh, I'm a Condi or two. Oh! Teaming up with the ninja. Kinda dirty. Not gonna lie. I don't think I could grab him either. Oh, 
Okay, I guess we got him. Just Aku yelling. Acting course? Wait, wait. Aku is teaching an acting course? I can't read those other words there. What does that say? The way to aim, I can't remember. Can anyone make up those feelings? Emotions. Okay, I see. The child actor for Avatar was bullied on the internet. He didn't want to return. Oh, that sucks. That just doesn't make any sense. Why did it suddenly... Okay. <clears throat> what the heck? This is a child game. They can't do that. This is rated E for everyone. Oh, that guy looks familiar. What the heck? That poster is just about as close as we're ever gonna get to finding the samurai. No wonder I divorced you. Oh, I remember this couple. They're train robbers. We haven't seen that episode in the Discord yet either. I guess they're divorced now. Well, they left just in time. That's funny. Um. <laughs> Hot water, please. Most dangerous man on the planet. Oh jeez. Saying good for old Jay. Jeez, I'm gonna need to heal. Pardon me for using an item in a game with items. In this here. Yeah, if it's just like, oh, you get a bonus for not using items, that's better than like, oh, you lose all these points because you used items. I, I do think that that does change how that would feel. I was just thinking about that too. Oh crap. Oh no. They caught me? What happens? Okay, you automatically just fail? Okay, where are they sending me back? I've never died in this game, so I don't know what's gonna happen right now. I hope it's just when we walked into the bar. I don't like that music. That sounds like the end screen music of a mission. Okay, good. I was getting worried there. Do the funny cutscene again. Man, I used that special move on them and everything too, and they still. I guess if they catch you, you're done for. So we didn't even get to really test out if that skill that I bought would come into play or not, because we didn't die, we just got captured. Ah. 
Damn, these guys are gonna kill me now. Leave me alone. Luckily, they didn't um keep my haggis. But I used it didn't count because I died. Some games you use an item and you die, and it's like, well, you still use that item. Even though it didn't pay off. I must find our crew. It's like, dude, Jack, you're not concerned about that at this particular moment. I'm gonna try a super move with another weapon and see if it's better. If this is like more AoE, let's see. Holy crap, it killed them all. God damn. Okay, so I guess the sword is better for focusing on one opponent and it just happens to hit others if they're nearby. Because I knew that the fist move did a big AoE, but I, I thought it was weaker. I think that was stronger than the fist one for sure. Archery classes from the, uh, the blind archers. Well, formerly blind archers. They're not blind anymore after Jack saved them. What does that say? Oh! Jump good white ape tribe, red gorilla tribe. Jump good courses. There's a lot of little references here. Got to find, must find Aku, quick. The stinking hole. Wow, what a name for a bar. Yeah, after facts save them. A true hero. I bet you those posters are e easier to see in the uh, non-Switch version. <laughs> But honestly, my PC probably wouldn't be faring any better, so... I can't complain too much if I was playing the Steam version. Uh-oh. <clears throat> Green screen room. Oh, it's an elevator. Jack, people generally know where elevators end up. Not that going to be that tricky to find you. Yep. Jeez, I guess I should have saved my... Uh... Oh, it's a 2D? I wonder if I just want to run. Nope, there's a force field. But it's like a 2D uh, fight this time. Different. Good thing they aren't working together. Yeah, you can't grab them, unfortunately. As far as I can. You could also just be cheap and like go back and then just... That would take forever though. Oh, he almost caught me at half health. I thought maybe they only did that when your health was low. Samurai Fack. Stop! Oh, they actually kill. I'm an idiot. Okay, so if you, so that is what happened last time. If your health drains all the way down, they just auto catch you. Jeez, I didn't even realize my health got that low. They must have been hitting me with stuff and I didn't even...
Unblockable enemy attacks cannot be blocked. <laughs> you don't say. Ooh, takes a while to reload, don't it? my skills again so i know i need because i want to get the uh perfect dodge so that's oh 2500 blue which oh i can get it now cool i have just enough cool defense master large decrease in damage received from enemies i don't have any green Increased damage inflicted when throwing weapons. Can I get it? No, I don't have enough gems. Enemies don't really grab me. I don't want to waste that one. Skill fire. Plenty of skill fire. I need the Bushido. And nothing else, just. I can't even get any of these because I need green. Ay, ay, ay. Oh well. At least we have that perfect dodge now. Maybe that'll come in handy. doing wrong there that's annoying now I have to do all the stuff I just did again not like like I have to pick up my stuff and like buy the skill again I'm guessing maybe not maybe the skill saved I think like after the first time you escape the second one gets like way harder or maybe it's, it depends on how low your health is I don't know but like, how would I avoid that if they decide to start wrapping me up in a rope? It's not like I can really see that being telegraphed because we're so zoomed out. It's weird because they weren't really doing that so much before. Funny thing is, I don't even know if I could use the perfect dodge right now, because it looks like it wants you to dodge three-dimensionally. And, um, we can't dodge three-dimensionally on this part. Maybe I should just go back and throw crap at them over and over again until they die. They can't capture me this way. I'm 
I'm just doing this. I don't want to get captured again. I have to redo it. Any. Better safe than sorry, I always say. My bow's about to break after like never using it this whole time. Alright, at least that takes care of them. Yeah. Actual boss fight. Hard to say. Oh, they give up. You have proven yourself, Samurai, and earned the right to be free after leading us on such a noble hunt. You have the respect of Imetani. No, I won't let you get away that easily. What? Starts gotcha. attacking. What? What was that? I have literally no idea what that just was. Oh, them. What did I tell you? My, my, is Aku gonna be happy? I guess this is the real boss fight. Oh, what the hell? We're on the train now? This is kind of cool. Jeez, this level just keeps going. Two for one. Oh, this dude. There's this great up, another great episode we haven't seen yet. Where, uh. Hey, I got the perfect dodge. So it is possible. In 2D. Where the whole story focuses on these. It's like four. Bounty hunters, maybe, that are all planning on capturing Jack. And they all talk about, like, the different way they, they plan on doing it. That's a really good episode. You did kind of like a tilted lariat there. All right, we just kicked him to the moon. There was some health back here. Some money. What the heck? If you try to backtrack, you get attacked by more enemies. I was only trying to backtrack for safety. 
that I messed up. Alright, never mind. I'm just gonna. There's health there, anyways. There's... Got knocked out of bounds. I don't know what I. Oh, I got machine gun bullets. Oh, I didn't know what that was at first. Oh, it's her now. She got a big old umbrella. shape looks like it would catch rain rather than repel it. That seemed like a good design choice. like super smash brosing them out of the screen. Oh no, I didn't get my health. Oh jeez. Oh, he kind of sounds like John DiMaggio. I wonder if he voices him. Because he does voice the Scotsman. A chipmunk. Is this what chipmunks are like to you? Stop calling me a chipmunk. That's so hilarious. I, I swear that's like a Smash Bros. reference or something. Like even the sound it makes. And since this is like a long 2D area. You just- I just beat you up, my guy. Give me a break. I'm try using a different weapon on this guy. waste my super but the 
said the scythe was good for multiple enemies, but I feel like it's actually good for this guy because he's stunning him. Yeah, every time like I hit him. He'll sue me. What the heck was that? Yeah, run away. Coward. Dude, you can't just leave and then... Oh, now it's both of them, okay. Oh, now's the best time as any, I think. Well, that barely did any damage to them. my health. They're not getting knocked away this time. I think this might be the final fight. <laughs> that was the perfect timing. Is that all you got? I cannot stay here any longer. Jack has like the most random one-liners that he does like every like 45 minutes or something. Yeah, she powered up, but we took care of it. Uh-oh. Dreams of Agony. Well, guess that's the end of them. Oh, they spit it out. I'm about to say, how are we going to destroy it? You just let them drop. <laughs> she got so happy. I don't know how long I can hold it open. No! Oh. We'll do one more mission so that way we'll be uh we'll just have three left for the final session the final stream at least they made the loading music good I wonder where we're gonna go next. Where am I? Good question. Ashi. I was so close. Poor little samurai. You thought you found a way out. Uh -oh. No more. There will be no escape. Wait. Ever. Aku! Wait, hear me out. <laughs> what 
the heck? Oh, that's the mask that Jack's wearing at the start of season five, I believe. So I guess that's where they sent us to. What? How can this be? <laughs> Looks like I can't oh! get a number on you, babe. Scaramouche. He's in it. Tom Kenny. Ooh, the scowl on that grill. Tough stuff, but no bluff, Daddy O. It's Diddy Bitty Bit You. You. Yodelay he who, baby. It's Aku's number one assassin. The Pied Piper of Pain. The Ambassador of Annihilation. The Crooner of the Carnage. The Crooner of Carnage. Jeremy's the Merciless. And if I got a special tune just for you, Jackie, baby. Beedy, 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 bah! In that killer, huh? I will waste no more time. Where is Aku? Patience, baby, patience. This is only the second act, and we're just getting started. Scaramusha is a really cool uh, antagonist for the final season. Oop. Ooh, you got the main and the front scruff to boot. I dig it, babe. I hope you're ready because our crew's got a whole new bag and he's ready to unleash it. Be seeing you, Jackie. Beat it for the air, but that did it. Bye bye. Okay, there he goes. Hmm. I am ready, Aku. At least we still seem to have our sword. White to Dama. looking at the uh hmm. I do like that we're we're doing the season five outfit now. Pretty cool. Cannot stay here any longer. Better be watching out laddie. Gigantic golem destroying the city. Five shurikens. What is this? Oh, okay. Simple enough, I guess. Skirmish talks a lot, but he must know something. <laughs> Good point. Okay, so the progression is in there. So let's go down here first. Scaramouche, Scaramouche, can you do the Fandango? Thunderbolts and lightning, very, very frightening. Galileo, Galileo. I'm just a samurai, nobody loves me. Oh, 
I need a jump good to reach this one. I forget what white Dama is. It is white Dama. I'm close to upgrading my sword again. Oh, I am. Yep, I can afford it. So next time I find uh, the samurai. Okay. A tiny bit of a door puzzle type thing. We just have to find the four statues. That look Agus? Lightning Spear? Oh. I could really use some Haggis. up there. Wait, so where am I supposed to go? That way, okay. So this door is optional. It's interesting. Can I destroy it from here? My bow broke. I was on the last arrow. You can shoot it, all right. Oh, maybe it wasn't optional. I might need that for another door. Find the statues to open a door to find another statue to open another door. Oh, what a thunk. Mongo's coming for your soul. You mean my essence. That's what he really wants. Yes. Evan Michael Richardson. Doubt it, fucko. Yes. Ugh. 
destroy the simp. Yeah, yeah, that's why you keep running away. Like the coward you are. There's the samurai. That means we can get what we want. Samurai Jack. All right, level three time, baby. Yes. There is a level four. Damn. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna have to get haggis. Aside from that. Can you like jump gooder? Like how the heck would I even get up there? I don't see anything like that. Hmm. I definitely want to get the fence master when I get the chance. I'll just get this because I've never run out of space carrying weapons. <laughs> Funny part. And there's like all these like XXL, XL, like carrying more and more weapons. It's like I'd never run out of space. And I don't even barely use them, so it's not like they're not breaking and filling up all my space. Oh, you could get more than one of those? What? Damn. Hmm. I just wish you'd have to, like, get unrelated things to get the other things. Like, the skill trees here are very strange. Uh, just so I could get this. Where's my Black Knight Greatsword? I don't know. It's M.I.A. Wait, what was that Sword Expert one? Increased damage and flick when using the sword. That'd be good too, yeah, so... Holy crap. Nice. Glad we dodged that. <laughs> yeah, just having that perfect dodge now also adds like a cool new thing there. I could just shoot them dead, why not? That's what samurais do. When he was in this mode, he did use guns a lot more. Because he didn't have his sword, so he had to use everything else. But throughout the series, he does use different weapons. He puts that training to good use. Just one beetle org? Okay. Kinda weird, but alright. What I need is that green fire. That's the stuff I'm low on. Ah, oh, there was something there I could see when I was falling. Oh, yeah. oh. oh. That maybe this led to the same you. place. I guess, thanks, actually. I could only afford to buy one. After upgrading. No, I did not need that health right now. Oh well. One of 
these walls are probably secret. Silver bow. Got it. I've got it. Well, look at those steps. Look how, like, shallow those steps are compared to the steps, like, right next to it. that are slightly less shallow. Maybe not. I don't know. They're both pretty shallow. Stop! Damn it, I grabbed the health. That's my bad. Damn, that arrow killed him in one shot. I guess the silver bow really powers up your arrows. So, Banana, did you see that indie showcase? They revealed your next favorite game. I thought you saw it because I, I thought I could hear you screaming across the globe. Who the heck is that guy? Oops. How do I get in there? <laughs> Whoops. I don't want to be wasting my arrows. Let me use this. I think I need to shoot that, but I don't know if there's a way to just aim manually. Can I just get over there? I don't think I can. Because they released your beloved game. Why are you shooting all the way to the right instead of like straight forward? There we go. See, there was one of these guys on top of that other building, but I didn't realize I could shoot them, I guess. But who knows if even if I could. They released, um... They didn't release, they were... They, they announced... Big Kitty in the Little City or something. Ask, uh, Fact, he was there. Or Sword. I'm not obsessed with cats, I have one cat that's obsessed with me. That's the problem. Charlie good boy. My ship, that's the only way I can escape, Jack. No, <laughs> devil device. <laughs> what if Jack just went crazy? That should have been how the series really ended, you know. And then Jack wakes up like in a giant black robot suit 
after like burning like 80% of his body. And then in a deep, like robotic voice, Jack's like, what happened? Is Aku safe? And then they're like, it seems in your rage you killed him. And he goes, no. I'm not rambling. I'm telling a coherent plot line. Wow. I guess we didn't get hurt. Can I just shoot that? As far as I can tell, there's no way to aim. So how do I get that? If not shooting it. Hmm. Better be watching out, laddie. Something important. The golem's strong. When he's guarding, bash him. Garden? Bash him? Usually you don't attack when they're guarding, you attack when they're not guarding. Okay, I guess we made it to the boss. What is the white Dama? Somebody tell me. So, eh, maybe not. Getting kind of weak at this point. Put the hammer out. Scaramouche, Scaramouche, can you do the fandango? In case you're wondering, yes, he does do that in the show. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I think I missed. What's that? Actually, jumping and striking seems to be pretty effective. Supposed to hit his head when he's like that? Not oh, cheap. Whoops. Yeah, that does great damage. I don't know about that advice the Scotsman was giving. Ow. I hit him multiple times. From here, I probably have to hit him in the head. Or not? It just does no damage? Weird. Ow. No! Don't kill me. Oh, I did a perfect dodge there. Ah, I was trying to get out of there. Damn it, now I gotta be safe. Oh no. Oh! Okay, guess we got him. Oh, that wasn't the boss boss? Uh oh. <laughs> Did we 
come in from this way? Yeah, we must have. What's next? I think I had the strangest dream. Funny looking robot from the future came here playing a flute, kept talking on and on and on. Scaramouche cannot escape. Ow. Close. Oh, Haggis, good. Banana, didn't you say you were raised on Haggis? Uh -oh. that's, that's sneaky to do next to the story. Would I be happy if they gave me a magnum? I think we're using one now. Oh. Yeah, it's a revolver. Oh, it's not a... That doesn't look like a revolver. Oh, it has it on the side there, I see. You were raised by Haggis? It's pretty cool. So they just like dumped Haggis next to the crib that you were in. And then they were like, all right, see ya in 18 years. was a pool of haggis fermented. Ooh. Yo, Simpson. That just sounds like you were summoned in a demonic haggis ritual. Speaking of haggis. They couldn't afford to spare any souls for you, so they used Haggis. I mean, maybe the, maybe Scottish demons like Haggis. It's very possible. The um, residue fire doesn't hurt you. Just the initial. Damn it. All this for a thing I don't need. What? Okay, the residue fire is not supposed to be hurting me, but. Not very clear. No, it hasn't been hurting me the whole time. I've been like jumping through the residue fire. It's just like that last one was like had an extra big hitbox or something. I'm gonna 
have to buy some more health from you. I was gonna try not to, but... That... We're not getting any bonus points for not using items in this one. <laughs> Ugh, more. Oh, he tripped for me shooting him and he died instantly. What the hell? Just the ninja's weakness is just gun. Wow, how does he ha 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 with laughter? That's impressive. Ow. You know what? I'm gonna use this right now. What? And also... Okay, yeah, nowhere near affording this. The green stuff. I have tons of blue, but like no green. <laughs> ah, my brain. Kind of. Please. Oh, he just got back up immediately. He wasn't impressed. Yo, spoiler alert, your master destroys you because you fail. Did he try to hit me with lightning as he was running away? <laughs> yeah, do you think you can win? You're right, Demongo, this time you will surely defeat me. I have no chance. Now we're just looking for these statues. Would you like to have a statue like this in your room, Banana? Of Aku? What 
What if you could have the statue, but the drawback is that every every day a second statue spawns, like another an additional statue spawns. Yeah, because then your family's like. What are you? There's so many of these statues. We're running out of space to live. Oh, the revolver broke. Great. Jesus, that's so tough suddenly. They just look like kitchen knives, but hey, whatever works, right? Oh, this is uh, okay. Another one did spawn in that time. They gotta move out as your your statue, Aku statue collection just grows. And they don't know about the curse, so from their perspective, you just keep buying them more. No, that'd be even better if the curse has it so they show up, like, in a... They show up by mail, but, like, in a package. <laughs> so it looks like you're just ordering more. Samurai needs food badly. Ugh, the minimal space Aku grants them. Or you fling them into the future where your portal is evil. That is a scary future to be flung into, I will say. Try to fight a bunch of ninjas to find one of the statues, and the other one's just behind that door. A bunch of ninjas that almost killed me, too. Hmm. Music's kind of mysterious. Big door. Oh, I forgot how to get over there. Oh, hang on, there's this over here as well. But you can't land on those, it's just really tricky. Oh boy, 300 gold. And this might lead to the, uh... Oh, I thought maybe this would lead to the, uh... Nope, that's just where I came from.
How the fool seeks to return to the past and undo future goo goo. Aku is baby goo goo. Jack's just confused. He's like, I, I don't understand. Please, Samurai, leave me alone. I'm just a little flower. Aku, you, you are not. A mere innocent flower, you are evil. No, oh, I'm just a little flower. Samurai Let's see. Oh boy, I can afford more health. Well, how come Marku's not allowed to plead for his life, huh? What do you have against them? I think I'm gonna repair this actually. I'm gonna repair something for once. Look at it. So, let's get more haggis. More hot water. Oops. This looks like a boss arena. I've ever seen one. Although we already fought one golem. About time you showed up. I decimated this city hours ago. I was worried those minions got you before we could tango a go 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 baby. Too bad for you. I do not dance. Don't be too sure, <laughs> baby. Those feet, babe, you're a natural. Beat it, three, beat it, do it, do that down. All right, we could actually fight Scaramouche this time. Oh, okay. Go <laughs> down. Got that tuning fork. We gotta be more careful. Jesus. Okay. Grab this. Don't summon stuff, that's cheating. Come on. Kitchen knives that you know what. Oh, he's like throwing giant debris while I'm trying to fight these guys. Oh, they counted as a dodge? Okay. He cries. Ah. 
god, he's about to just run and summon my stuff. Coward. He has no honor. No. Did it hit him? Present. Oh, these enemies are weak against the kitchen knives. Just in case, uh, you're only allowed to do so much damage each phase, unfortunately. Ooh, now there is some serious, serious dirt, baby. Hello. <laughs> I might just do that one hit to be safe. It'll work pretty well. He's about to. There we go. Yep. <laughs> oh, his, his nose flipped sides. You were hoping for one of our coup's pendants? <laughs> Nada, babe. Nada. Yeah, Aku got rid of those, so I guess there's no reach in that gal pal on the other side now. Oh. You're stuck in here, Daddy-O. So much for your codependent relationship. <laughs> it's finito, baby. Further down the rabbit hole you go. Feedy I don't have that solo. This, this cannot be. Foolish samurai. <laughs> no, Aku. No! <laughs> oh, okay. That was very abrupt. So we're going to next or exit if I want to quit. Whoops. I did next. So it's going to be a cutscene now, probably. Wealth Child appears in different stages and will always have items or helpful information. Yeah, such as those bad guys. Here, have a cookie. I have a sharing gun. What is a sharing gun? Take it, Jack. Believe me. Ashi? Aku? You foul demon! I have been here before. This is where I faced Ashi. I was about to say. And her sisters. Trying to confirm where this was. Yeah, he's gonna force a sharing gun into Jack's eye. Oh, these guys. Again. See, <laughs> even he's like, okay. All right, but we're gonna... You will lose all unsaved data, Samurai. I flung his save file into the trash bin. The snowy forest. All right, so there should be three levels left 
So next time I want to continue, I just go here, here, resume from last second. All right, cool. Um, okay, that's it. We have three missions left. We'll finish it up in one more stream. I don't know if that'll be the next stream, but we will finish this up at some point. Oh, uh, that's it. Have a good 